But he said, your words are very, very powerful. And he started to teach me about words. Heaven, in Matthew 12, 36, I said that you will be held accountable for every idle word that comes out of your mouth. And he said, you know, I meant that. And he started to speak to me about how I had been very careless about my words. And I'm telling you what, you know how we talk sometimes and, and we say things and we regret that we said certain things. Well, Jesus said, you're supposed to be speaking your destiny. You're supposed to be speaking where you're going. And he started to counsel me. He cared about me and he showed me how my life up till that point had been kind of going in a zigzag fashion because my words were not being spoken correctly. I wasn't speaking where I was going. I was just saying things and I was being careless. Now because of that, Jesus needed to bring correction to my life. And so he spoke to me all the words about creation. How He said how the Father spoke the worlds into existence and how you got born again, Kevin. He said the Spirit of God inside of you made you new. So I, he said, you're a brand new creature now. You're a brand new species. And he said that now that your spirit is new, you have to speak from your spirit to see mountains move. And he explained to me why we don't see our mountains being moved in our lives. It's because we don't speak from our hearts. Jesus said, go from here to there. He said, if you believe in your heart, that what you say with your mouth, if you believe that it shall come to pass, it shall be done. He said, Kevin, it doesn't ma matter what you think in your mind, it's what you believe in your heart. It's a spiritual exercise. So he said, Kevin, see, when you pray in the spirit, when you speak the right words, he said, the demons have to listen to you. And, and I realized, oh my gosh, this is what's been, been going wrong in my life. I haven't been speaking the right things. And because of that, I, need to switch and turn my focus back on my destiny. So Jesus started to teach me, and he, there's a part of you called your soul that is hindering you. And he's, he showed me, um, my, but I also saw this black part of me, and he said, Kevin, do you see how that's obscuring your beauty? And I said, yes. He said, it's be, that's your soul. He said, look real closely. And when I looked really closely, I saw all these words these phrases and statements that were spoken. And I remember them being spoken to me when I was a little child. People said things and they actually cursed me and they said things that weren't true about me. And they, they changed the way that I perceived God and my, my, whole, uh, my whole observation of this life was tainted by the enemy because people had spoken wrong words over me. No, I know this is something that you can relate to because you've had people say things to you. You've told people, uh, people have told you, you know, you're never going to amount to anything. You know, they, they always are blaming uh, you for everything that happens. This happened to me when I was a young child. Everything seemed to come against me and it formed my mindset. But see, Paul, the apostle said that he said that those who have the mindset of the spirit do the the desires of the spirit. But those who have the mindset of the flesh, they do the desires of the flesh. But see, it says that you cannot please God if you walk in the flesh. He said, the word of God is effective if you mix it with the spirit. So the spirit and the word, they agree. So he said, you need to build yourself up in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit and staying in the love of God. He said, and then you need to, to always meditate on the word of God and you need to allow your mind to be changed. So Jesus started to show me how to live a successful life as a Christian. He just told me, he said, me and the Father, he said, we love everyone. He said, we aren't doing any of these terrible things that are happening to people on the earth. That's the devil doing that. And he said, he said, go back and tell people and defend me, defend us to the, to the people. Tell them that it's the God of this world doing all these things. So Jesus asked me, so just, just remember these things. Jesus sent me back from the other realm to help you to understand that you can make it in this life and that Jesus is real and that he loves people and he is with you in a mighty way. Hey, thanks for letting me share with you. God bless. Hvaljen Isus i Marija, vi gledate YouTube kanal Hrana za dušu. Ako vam se sviđa epizode, molimo vas da se pretplatite i kliknete zvonce, u potpunosti je besplatno. Na taj način vam YouTube javi kad stavimo novu epizodu. Vama je trenutak vremena, a nama puno znači, jer nam tako pomažete u širenju kanala i Isusove slave.
Molimo vas da podijelite video na društvenim mrežama i pokažete drugima put Isusu Kristu. Naša misija i cilj su uvijek isti, promovirati Isusa i hraniti dušu. U opisu imate linkove svih suradnika koje smo do sada stekli. Neka vas sve dragi Bog blagoslovi i vječno čuva, a Zagor Svete Gospe prati do vijeka. Amen, aleluja. It's time.